Okay, now for task two, another simple calculation. What is the heat capacity rate of an equimolar mixture of methane and ethane at 20 bar and 50 degrees Celsius? Let's try it in the WC with a number of different property packages. Okay, so I'll save our water simulation, close it create a new one next I'll add methane methane you can press enter directly from the search text box and the WC will add the compound which is currently currently selected on the list next Let's start with the Peng Robson equation of state because it is the most recommended recommended model to handle hydrocarbons. Okay. This time we will need a flash algorithm. The nested loops for vapor liquid equilibrium is the default one. And we will choose it. Yes, units I'll leave it on the SI by now. Okay, so let's add a material stream, drag and drop, and you can see that it is already filled with an equimolar mixture and standard conditions. Going back to our question, we have a pressure of 20 bar and temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. Temperature 20, no, temperature 50 degree and 20 bar. Okay. Now let's check the phase distribution. We only have vapor. And here it is the heat capacity ratio for Penn-Robson for the vapor phase of using the Penn-Robson equation of state. So let's create a new worksheet for that. I think I will use the, the same Since we can't use the steam tables property package, oh, we will stick to the other three ones: Peng Robson, Cool Prop, and Rhodes Law. Okay, so this is unitless. This property. Peng Robson, we already have a value, which is one point. Three one seven five. Okay, so now let's try it with the CoolProp library. Okay, so here we have it. Almost the same. Now with the roads law. Settings, delete, pop up, and then roads law. Oh shoot. Okay, calculate. Okay, one is a little different. This one. The same. Let me rename this sheet to this. Yes. Yes. 
So now let's see where this value for the road's law heat capacity ratio is coming from. Vapor phases, phase ID two. Here it is. Okay, so the heat capacity at constant pressure is coming from this routine, which is calculated from a molar average. From this routine, let's go back a little bit and we can see that it is actually coming from the ideal gas heat capacity curve from the CAMSAP database for methane and ethane okay is a Actually, it is a mass fracture average value, as you can see from here. And the heat capacity at a constant volume is being calculated using the ideal gas equation, which is. Genius CP minus CB is equal to R. So if we have CP and CV will be CP. minus R divided by the molar weight of the mixture because we in the WC we store the heat capacity values in kilo joules by kilogram times Okay. So, you can see that the heat capacity ratio using the ideal profits package, the Rhodes law property. Packages being calculated using the ideal gas correlation. And what happens with coprop? Let's see, it's not 1.31. Okay. Let's go back to the coprop. Phase ID two we calculate coprop also is also able to calculate the 
heat capacities for each compound using its internal correlations or experimental data and the WC is getting the value from the library itself you can see here for the vapor phase that it calculates a mass fraction average just as in the ideal property package and this is the contribution of each compound for the final value of the constant pressure heat capacity it's almost the same as the ideal the value from the ideal profits package with the exception that the heat capacity at constant volume is being calculated rigorously and not from an ideal gas correlation okay so this is where our this is where our values are coming from okay and for the Peng Robson equation of state, the heat capacity rate is calculated directly from the equation of state. Let's check it here. Peng Robson. This is the routine that calculates the heat capacity rate ratio using Payne Robson equation of state. So it is a little it is a little complicated. It involves a lot of derivatives and an integral. But in the end you will have the heat capacity ratio beautifully calculated here. so we have the first value is the heat capacity at constant pressure a little different from the ideal and comprop property package we have the heat capacity at constant volume here and the heat capacity ratio ratio which is 1.3175 Joules per kilogram. Okay. So here it is. Which one should I believe in? In my personal opinion, we should always stick with the Pink Robson equation of state because it takes into account the pressure effects while the Cooprop library is calculating this property based on temperature only I guess so Rhodes law I wouldn't even consider for higher pressures for lower pressures it is a little bit different for because of the ideal guys gas correlation It is already different at lower pressures, lower low pressures. So I would stick with Peng Robinson and SRK equations of state, which I didn't show here, but should give us a result close to the Peng Robinson equation of state. We can check that now quickly. Let's try the SRK equation of state. One point three is really close to Peng Robinson results. 
okay this is just to show you that you have a lot of open options in the WC to calculate profits but you should be really you should be really skeptical about the results because you must know where they are coming from and if the, the property value is close to what you expect this is called engineering judgment okay guys so pay attention to this aspect this is not true this is true not only to the WC but for Hysis both for Aspen Plus for Coco and for every other process simulator on the market okay so you gotta be you gotta pay a lot of attention to this detail in process simulators okay so if this number doesn't isn't close to what you expect you should not blame the simulator but you should check if you choose the right model and the right and input the right conditions and if it, everything is correctly set up for you to get the correct value okay okay now finishing our task number two i've prepared a little summary on the properties we've calculated and which with property package which property package we've used to calculate them so for the liquid viscosity from the steam tables it comes from the own steam tables formulation by the international association of properties of water and steam with the peng robson equation of state it comes from the kimsep database which is a fitted curve from experimental data cool prop library comes from cool props internal data and the roads law it also comes from the kimsep database in the case of the vapor pressure for the steam tables it comes from the steam tables formulation Peng Robson, it comes from the CAMSAP database. CoolProp, it, it gave us an error, so we couldn't calculate it, but I'll take a look, look at it later. For the ideal property package, it also comes from the CAMSAP database. And for the heat capacity ratio, it is calculated by the equation of state from the rigorous definition for the Payne Robinson equation of state and Coprop uses in internal correlations for the for both heat capacities and for the ideal property package we calculate the ideal gas heat capacity at constant pressure and after calculating it we calculate the heat capacity at constant volume following the ideal gas equation so this is why it is important for you to know how the properties are calculated calculated and i hope that the wc helps you regarding this task okay